You know, it's out here with your three pretty good friends, you know, best friends. You know, getting the job done out here. You know, helping the community. Well, Ozanim is a residential treatment center. Uh, we work with emotionally and behaviorally uh, uh, troubled kids. Um, so we have a residential program for kids that live here, and then we have a day treatment program for kids that come to school and get counseling and then go home at the end of the day. Once they're in there and they start growing stuff and they're successful, it really boosts their self-esteem and self-confidence. And so they're growing too emotionally, you know, and socially and things like that. So there's definitely a correlation between, you know, growing the plants and the students and the kids growing themselves also as well. I love being here and helping out all the people that um, we can help and they're really fun. One of the girls sang to us and she was a really good singer. Um, we colored, we painted. It was really fun. I'm glad we get to help them. It's always nice to kind of help out the community. We are a 34 apartment Alzheimer's assisted living community and what that means is that all of our residents come here because they need assistance with their activities of daily living. So that would be dressing, bathing, medication administration, getting their meals and activities every day and um, it's a little bit more special than just a standard assisted living because all of our residents have a cognitive deficit so it's a little bit more challenging and um, we have to be flexible every day. So we've got a lot of new trees that beautify the park. If there are any ashes around that die out, these will probably replace them. And uh, uh, they just did good community service. It was awesome. That yeah, was really cool. We're helping people who like can't eat right now. So we make like food packages to send out and so, yeah. So. Well, we are Shawnee Community Services. We are a community-supported not-for-profit. We give away free food, free shoes, free clothes to anybody that walks into our place. The generous public donates your stuff to us. We sell it at low garage sale prices to purchase the food that we give away. Um, yeah, I think it's been great. Um, right now, I'm sorting out um, linens. We're sorting out bed sheets, towels, um, all that stuff, like pillows. Yeah, okay, so today I think we're just um, organizing the room so far and maybe helping out the little kids. And um, I think it's a great idea for us to give back to the community because there's not much time in our schedules usually. So this gives us a good time for us to do it during our day. We have volunteers out here today that are working really hard for us to prepare for the Step Up for Down Syndrome walk. It'll be Saturday, October 17th. Making baby quilts for parents uh, who just have kids with Down Syndrome. Liberating, yeah. Love uh, volunteering. Cutting some honeysuckle. It's basically destroying certain particular types of trees. We really just try and serve families all across the urban core of Kansas City um, through education to try and improve their lives. It feels really great. I feel like I'm helping these kids learn and they're teaching me some things too. Okay. We don't really have time to do this more often, so this is really a good opportunity. For the residents, one, it's nice to see young faces in the building and have the kids talk to them and interact. And then it's also some deeper cleaning than we usually get to. Not always do we get out to wash the outside of the windows where it takes us quite a while to do that. It makes me feel good inside, like warm, like 
like right around this area. Uh, today, the students have come out to help us plant trees in the park. We are here today uh, helping out with us because it needs help. Makes it feel good. Makes it feel great. Doing something. Helping people, you know, feels good not helping yourself once. Serving the community. It means so much to have the students come out. We really feel the embrace of the community. We really appreciate all the work. There's so much work to be done here. And it really helps our students and riders to know that the community loves and supports them like this. So thank you guys for coming out. We're helping out with the Halloween Hollow, just helping run it. Like we have people greeting the kids as they walk in. We have people helping out with the um, tractor ride that they'll, where the kids will just go around and help and help load them in and get them out. We're just helping kids, and like it's a really fun time out here because there's a bunch of pumpkins that they can pick and go down the slide and just fun stuff like that.